Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here and welcome back to another Cardano video. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss an update as we are approaching 20k subscribers, which is a crazy milestone to be at already. I'm so thankful to everyone that continues to tune into the videos, hits that like button, leaves comments and also shares the videos out there to help spread the word about the channel. So today's video, it got a little bit busier than it was meant to be. I was going to stick just to some of these stats around Cardano. I done one of these back in January, but my channel was a lot smaller then. People did like the idea of the video. So I'm going to go through it and try to start making this a once a month type video. First off, before we jump into the stats, I will just be giving you a quick update on the Mary hard fork, which has been delayed by a week not a whole lot. I will give you a quick update on that. Also take a look at the new Daedalus that is out and a quick update on the Catalyst funding, which registration has just opened before this video goes live. So I'm going to talk about them and then we'll jump into the stats. So no more wasting time. If that's for you, please do give the video a like, comment below and also share it out there if you like it. So let's jump in. Okay, so first up, just a quick word on the Mary hard fork. Cardano is going to have a hard fork at the end of this month. Don't worry when you hear hard fork. If you've been in other blockchains before, hard fork means that you have to do something. But in this case, you don't have to do anything. It is basically upgrading the network. It is then going to have native assets live within the Cardano mainnet. What this means is that other projects can create native assets on the Cardano blockchain. This is a huge step for Cardano. Right now it's live on the testnet being tested and it's going to go for the mainnet. It will be submitted on the 24th of February and if it makes that date, it will then be launched on March 1st. So again, these dates line up with Epoch, so it has to be in the Epoch before for the snapshot. Then it goes live on March 1st. If it misses that, then things will move by five days. But again, it is aiming for these dates right now. After that, it will be live in Daedalus Flight first. With Daedalus Flight, they normally get the new features about two weeks before it's released on the mainnet Daedalus. So Daedalus Flight is a live wallet. Anyone can download it and test it. I generally do download it when it comes out to see what the new features are going to be. And then once people are happy that they're working there, the main Daedalus is then updated with the new features as well. So you can be sure that as soon as these features are live in Daedalus Flight, I will have a video out on that. Okay, so I get lots of questions about Catalyst and when can you vote on Catalyst and how can you do it? So there was a town hall meeting this evening that is basically their live streams where they talk about everything that's going on and what's coming up. And it was announced that registration is now open for Fund 3. So you can go in and you can vote on Fund 3. So let's take a step back for anyone who has no idea what Catalyst is. Catalyst is part of Cardano's governance system. So basically anyone can go in and put in a proposal to Catalyst for an idea to help Cardano, to build on Cardano or to do something related to the ecosystem and they can apply for funding through this. Then every single person who holds ADA is able to go in and vote on all of these proposals. These happen every six weeks. There's different funds for each proposal. For the current fund three proposal that registration is now open for, there is 500 worth of ADA up for grabs and that will be dispersed to the winning proposals in that fund. So I will do another video tomorrow on this to show you how to do the actual registration process. There was another big announcement as well that Fund 4 is going to have $1 million as the total budget. You will see up on screen here the different challenges. So within each fund, there are different challenges that they want to get solutions for. They want to get proposals for these types of challenges and that is what this one is about. So I'll go through all of this a little bit more tomorrow because this happened just before I went to record this video, but I wanted to include it in it because I know some people will be interested in it. So that is it, and I will have that voting video out either tomorrow or the next day, but registration has just opened now and it is open until the 3rd of March, so you do have lots of time for that, and I will explain that when that video comes out. So that also leads on to the new version of Daedalus, which has just gone live just before I recorded this as well. So there's a few really nice features in it, as well as Catalyst voting being integrated into it, which is a really good feature because anyone who voted in the last Catalyst round had to download a special version of the Daedalus wallet. It was Daedalus Catalyst. And 
a lot of people didn't do it because you had to download it and you had to import wallets and it was a little bit messy. So now you can do it from within Daedalus, which is a really big step. So some of the other new features as well that are really nice to see here are when you look at your wallet now in Daedalus, you can see over on the right hand side here, you can see the USD balance of this. And if you click into the cog here, you can actually change the currency here. So if you want to see it in a different currency, you can come in and look in here. So lots of different currencies or even look at it in Bitcoin terms, Ethereum, whatever you want to do, you can change that there. Other ones as well, they have brought in meta metadata servers. These are related to the pools. I would say for now, stick with the IOHK one. If alternative servers come out, alternative smash servers come out, I will do videos talking about them more in depth. But for now, I wouldn't be too worried about that. So the other new section that you will see here is this little icon here. When I click on it, this brings me into the registration for vote three or fund three. And again, I will do a video on that either tomorrow or the next day. I'll see how things are going. So what you will do is if people want to just fly ahead with it, come in here, download the latest version of Daedalus, come in here then. Once you come in here, you have to download the Catalyst voting app on your smartphone. Once you've done that, you can go through this process here. There are step-by-step -step guides if you look around for it. And for anyone who wants to wait, don't panic. There's lots of time for that voting. So jumping into some of these stats then. So first, the race is on to 20. So I posted this a few days ago to see whether my YouTube channel will get to 20K subs first, which is an incredible milestone to be hitting already. And or will my state pool hit 20 million in delegation? So it's incredible to see both of these figures out there. I'm so thankful to everyone that subscribes to the channel, shares it out there, leaves comments and feedback, and also everyone that delegates to the stake pool that really does help support the channel. And we are on a really good run of rewards at the minute as well. So it is working out very, very well at the minute. So thank you to everyone. Now on to Cardano stats. Then we have Reddit. So Reddit, the last time I done this video, Reddit was just crossing 100,000 subs. Right now, it is up at 180,000 members. It's insane to see the growth that is up there. You can see that just after I done the last stats video, this thing kind of went parabolic. Next up, we see Telegram. So Telegram again, starting to see parabolic growth near the end. And look, these types of social metrics, as I said in the last video, are not the biggest thing to look at but what i see is this is more people coming into cardano which is going to get the word out there get more adoption out there which is all good and all part of the end game so we look at the cardano twitter it's up over forty-five thousand followers in the last 30 days alone charles is up thirty-eight and a half thousand followers in the last 30 days as well the stats are going parabolic on all of social media so then youtube we see on charles's youtube again nearly 30,000 subscribers in the last 30 days his channel is starting to go parabolic as well but it is down to the huge work that he is putting in himself so every day that you come on now you will see nearly at least one charles video whether it's on his own channel or whether he's out there on podcasts or out on someone else's doing an interview, he is out there spreading the word of Cardano and what the project is achieving right now. Let's jump over to the screen and take a look at some of the Google Trends now as well. Okay, so here you have the Google Trends for Cardano. So back in 2017, 2018, this is the height that we hit. So what this is measured in is 100 is the all-time high of searches for the term that you're looking for. You can look for Bitcoin, you can look for anything here. It doesn't have to be a cryptocurrency, any search term in Google. So you can see that we have now surpassed the all-time high of 2017, 2018 of searches on Cardano on Google. So what we're looking at here is new stake keys generated every day. So you can see what this is, is this is the new people that are staking on a daily basis. So you can see that when staking launched first with Shelly, there was a huge uptake here and then it all kind of died off. Picked up a bit here. Then in January, when I was doing the other video, it really picked up and we went a bit quiet then. But over the last two weeks, things are starting to really grow. The numbers are getting bigger and bigger every day. Again, this shows more people coming in and staking within Cardano, which is great to see. New wallets as well is another good stat to look at. So as you can see here that as we come into January, started to peak up, then down, but over the last two weeks again, more and more wallets being created on Cardano every day. So for a while here, they were hitting higher and higher numbers every single day. Again, 
shows more and more people getting into Cardano. So then what we look at here is the daily transactions on the network. So this is a big one. So again, you can see back here, things were a bit quieter, started to pick up in January a bit, but again, the last two, three weeks have really picked up in terms of transactions per day. This is really important for Cardano going forward. Now consider that we still don't have native assets or smart contracts, and we're already seeing the volumes of transactions growing. This is a very good sign. If you've seen my video on the future of staking rewards, then you will know that transactions are going to play a big part of the rewards in the future and also of funding Catalyst and funding the development of Cardano in general. So again, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it down below. That is on the daily transactions. If we look at it per epoch then, again, these stats are all on adapools.org. Really good stats over there on the site if you wanna check any of these out yourself. So you can see down the left, we have all the epochs. Back here, we were having kind of mid 30,000s there's a 50,000, 60,000 transactions. This is transactions per epoch and an epoch is five days, but the last two epochs have been record breakers. So we had 142,000 transactions in epoch 246, 176,000 in epoch 247, which is the one that closed last Sunday. And again, we are racking up the transactions in this current epoch as well. What this does is what you will see over here is the fees that are generated from all of these transactions. So obviously more fee, more transactions on the network generates more fees, which are then paid into both staking rewards and out into the treasury to fund catalyst proposals. So you can see these numbers are going up and it's great to see compared to down here in the four, five, six thousand ADA going into the fund up here with 31,000, 38,000. And this doesn't mean that the transaction fee is increasing, it just means that there's more transactions. As you can see here, the average fee is still staying in around the same. It's actually down slightly in the last two epochs, which is great to see. That's it on the epochs. Now, again, I've showed these charts in the last video as well. These are done by Peter over on Twitter. Actually, here is his profile. I'm not logged in on this browser. He puts out daily charts on the Cardano stats and some really good information that comes out there. So this is an example of what he puts out. So you can see the delegated wallets up to 55% now of all Cardano wallets are delegated, which means staked. The total ADA wallets then, you can see this here, huge growth in this. And then new ADA wallets per day. So again, this is what we already looked at on ADA pools with the number of new wallets being created per day. This one here is interesting. So currently the total ADA staked is just under 72%. Now this chart actually came out yesterday. I'll show you where you can get the live data anytime you want. So there was this huge jump yesterday and it's got a lot of people talking, a lot of people wondering who is the new delegation that's after coming into the network. So this here is under group new guy on ADA pools. Nobody knows who this is yet. There's all sorts of rumors. By the looks of it, it nearly has to be some sort of an exchange that's coming in that's going to start offering Cardano staking, but we don't know yet who this is. Coinbase rumors are out there. There's all sorts out there, but as soon as I get any information on this, you can be sure that I will put it into a video. So that's it on the new guy as well. And just on anyone who wants to check out these stats for themselves, you can check it out on the dashboard for ADA pools. You can see here, live stake, you can see the percentages all here. And then again on pool tool, another really good tool that you can check out over here. So again, you will see it up here as well. Okay, and one final stat to look at then is the transaction volume on exchanges. So again, this is how much Cardano is traded. You can see just under 5 billion for today, over 6 billion yesterday, four and a half, four and a half, five. Then we have seven, we have 11,000 or 11 billion on the 2nd of February, or sorry, the 11th of February, four and a half, six and a half, eight and a half. So huge volumes being traded the last two weeks. When you look back down here to the I suppose the middle to end of January, you have three, three, four, just over three, just over three, three. So again, you can see the increase in volume, the increased activity across the board for Cardano right now. Okay guys, so thanks very much for tuning in. It's a very exciting time within Cardano with everything that is happening. Things are moving very fast. So if you want to stay up to date, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the updates. And if you really wanna help support the channel, please do give it a like. 
share it out there and also if you need a stake pool please do consider delegating to mine as that does help support the channel and basically all pools will give you the same rewards it's just who you want to support so thanks for watching guys i will see you very soon